Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Curiosity Wax and in this video I'm showing you the beautiful Ashlyn Aller and Hunter Huntsman Ever After High dolls. Now if you're a Minton box collector I think the boxes with the um, two dolls in they're amazing and I think they're so pretty so if I Ha if in a parallel universe I'm a mint and box collector I would definitely get this because it's so pretty and he's really handsome <laughs> and oh they look so pretty so this is what they look like in the box so Ashlyn's got her royal boot mark thing and Hunter has got his bevel boot mark in green and he looks so amazing I really like how much work they've put because they've put as much work into the boy dolls as the girl dolls. So on the back they've got both their questionnaires. So I'll start with Ashlyn Allen. Even with a royally enchanting bags to riches destiny, the free-spirited Ashlyn remains humble, helpful and down to earth. The spellbinding nature lover always tries to imagine herself in other people's shoes, literally. To be honest, while she's not materialistic by nature, Ashlyn is kind of obsessed with shoes. Hey, what do you, what do you expect from the daughter of Cinderella? Here's the questionnaire and her answers. What is your secret heart's desire? Naturally, to find true love. My glass slipper can't be picked up just by anyone. I don't care if he's royalty, just as long as he's my soulmate. What magic touch makes you special? Well, all fairy tale princesses can call animals, but I can actually talk with them. Plants too. Fairies, pixies, you name it. You could say I'm connected to nature. Does anything make you shout, oh, curses? If I'm ever late for class, my exquisitely clean dress bursts into filthy old rags. What a fairy fail. What's your storybook romance status? Hunter Huntsman. He's my knight in shining army, but I have to keep it a secret, okay? Since I'm a princess and he's not a prince, we could get in serious trouble. What's your favourite subject at school? Environmental magic. It's my royal responsibility to take care of the world around me. What about your least favourite subject? Princessology. I know my legacy is important, but going to class to learn to behave royally? Whatever after. Who are your best friends till the end? Lots of people are my friends. Apple White, Raven Queen, but Hunter Huntsman is the only one who really understands me. And here's all about Hunter Huntsman. He's brave, he's heroic, he's destined to save the weak from the wicked, and he loves fuzzy woodland creatures. Yes, though a dutiful man of action, there are two things that break Hunter's heart of gold. Girls in need of rescuing and adorable, helpless animals. Even seeing people eat meat makes him sad. If it was up to him, Hunter would be a healer instead of a huntsman. And here's his answer to the question. What is your secret heart's desire? To be on the side of truth and justice for all. Also, I kind of like making sick animals feel better. What magic touch makes you special? I can make anything out of random stuff I find. Want a shoe closet? Give me tree branches, some honeycomb and about ten seconds. Booyah! Does anything make you shout, oh, curses? My traps always break. How can I be the next huntsman if I can't hunt? What's your storybook romance status? Ashlyn Alla is my everything. Oh, my once upon a time, my happily ever after. Oh, that's so cute. One day I'll figure out how to make our fairy tale a reality. What's your favourite subject at school? Beast training and care. What could be better than working with animals? What about your least favourite subject? Dragon slaying. 
It breaks my heart thinking about those poor, innocent, fire-breathing giant creatures. Who are your best friends till the end? Daring and Dexter Charming are my buddies, but I can really be myself around Ashlyn Alley. Oh, he's so romantic. That's so sweet. So you have the artwork of Ashlyn Alley and Hunter Huntsman, and the pictures you get on this one are of Apple White, Briar Beauty, Raven Queen, and Madeline Hattie. So that's them in the box. So now I'm going to open the box, get them out of the box, and I'll be back in a tick. Yay! So that's them out of the box, and I'm really impressed with Hunter Huntsman. I think I just I really like how chunky he is and his bag let me just put a little one side so you can see it his bag is actually like the strap of his bag right is that to be a zip and it looks awesome and then his bag is like all got zip decoration and his bag actually opens so you can put things in it too so that's really cool so he's got these really cool trousers on and i love the feel of the trousers and his hair is slipped to one side and then he's got like a shaved cut like a buzz cut on one side and it's really soft and i really like his hair i think he's absolutely gorgeous and then he's got a, a cuff bracelet and then he's got this sort of the refill jacket, jacket with like a big hood and the foot on the back is like more detail sort of swirl pattern on the back of it and then it's got the sort of leathery look detail at the front and then little pull cords from the hood and then he's got this green shirt on underneath which looks really cool then on his t-shirt, it's like a forest scene of all the light through the trees. I think that's beautiful. And then on his trousers, he's got this really cool... Hang on, let me hand another way. He's got this really cool key ring and it's sort of got like... um, I can't quite make out what it is exactly, but like coins and like feathers and things on. And then his boots are awesome. His boots are really chunky boots. With lots of buckles and bibbits and straps on them. And uh, uh, I want Doctor Who dolls like this, like affordable and as good quality as this, because I would totally buy them. Because oh, I really like this doll. He's nice and chunky, and he's got buzz cut, and he's really handsome. So now I'll show you Ashley. And she's so pretty. Her dress is sparkly turquoise at the top. And then underneath it is this dress which has got the roses on. Her hair, she's got really bad box hair though. So it's a bit hard to get her hair out because it's really all tied up and stuck in the cellar tape a bit. But she has this really pretty pink headband on. And the actual... I really like, she's got a beautiful braid in front of it, which is really lovely detail. And she's got earrings in, and the earrings are little gold shoes, which is cute. I just, her out, and then the overskirt has got gold leaves and vine detailing. And she carries this handbag, which is sort of a clock. And it's got the clock face sticker on one side and then it's the mould of the clock on the other side and I really love her shoes because they're like translucent deep turquoise I really like translucent things on these dolls I just I don't know why I just really like translucents and, and the accessories and she also has a top bracelet a bit hard to make out but I think they're meant to be oh yes the little shoes on her charm bracelet and she's really pretty and she's also got a necklace let me see which has got a, a, a beard on it I think it's like a beard 
that coming out of the bird cage and it's all in gold and she's also got a ring on that's a little bird too and oh, she's so pretty does anybody have any tips to how to make the hair prettier after you've got them out of the box because I don't want to be going all really brushing hard on the hair than spoiling it so if anybody's got any tips on how to spruce the hair up after you've taken them out of the box, that'd be good. But she's so pretty. Oh yeah. And she comes with a gold hairbrush and he doesn't need a hairbrush. And then they come with their story book, bookmark ribbon thing. And then this is the couple. Let's have them kissing. Oh, and a romantic, he's a romantic, most romantic, like, doll character I've ever met. I really liked reading his questionnaire and so I thought that was so sweet. So this is Ashlyn Aller and Hunter Huntsman. I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.